so guys the simplest way to make firework in blender so let's do it so guys it's really simple so this is our default cube select the cube press x and delete shift plus a mesh let's add a icosphere tap to edit mode press a to select everything press s to scale let's scale it down tap to object mode shift plus d to duplicate press x to move the duplicate in x axis double click and change the duplicate name to sample now select our main icosphere go to particle properties click on this plus icon to add a new particle system numpad one for front view let's bring up our timeline so we are at first frame now so this is our icosphere press i then location to add a location keyframe for our icosphere let's go to frame number 50 move it upward press i then the location another keyframe select both keyframe right click interpolation mode linear now go to particle properties again let's change the number to 500 particle fall will start at frame 1 and end at frame 50 so in frame 50 lifetime like 8 randomness then go to render change from hello to object instance object is our firework sample this one the duplicate one now viewport display then disable show emitter let's see what we got so far let's increase the scale of the particles we are done with the first part now go to particle properties again scroll up click on plus icon for another particle system this particle system will start at frame 50 so change the start frame to 50 and end at 90 particle lifetime 150 randomness same extend velocity normal from 1 to 4 now go to render hello to object same firework sample again go to viewport display then uncheck the show emitter then go to field weight change the gravity from 1 to 0 0.1 change the number of particles to like 4000 now select the firework sample go to material tab then add a new material go to shading tab select the principal base depth press x to delete then click on add then search for emission then search for object info for colorful firework then object info location to the emission color and the emission color to the material output surface increase the strength to like uh, 40 then go to render properties enable the bloom ambient occultion screen space reflection let's go to render preview go back to our layout tab render view let's see what we have so far select our main icosphere go to particle system properties then select the second one which do the busting scroll down render let's increase the scale so that we can have proper glow as you can see a little bit let's test it again if you want to have some glow at the first part same go to particle system properties this is the first one let's increase the scale so that we can see the glow so guys that's it simple firework as you can see so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial